before you know it, I knows what love is. Welcome to the Irish Museum of Modern Art. Today we're in the East Wing Galleries with an exhibition entitled Love from Surrealism to Now. This exhibition is in collaboration with the Centre Pompidou and features over 100 works from contemporary to now. This exhibition features major loans from museums such as the Tate Gallery, but also importantly the Centre Pompidou in Paris, where we have masterworks and also works from the Picasso Museum. Importantly, the show is co-curated with Christine Marcel, the chief curator of the Centre Pompidou and myself. I'm Rachel Thomas, the head of exhibitions, where we've garnered over the last two years works from private collections, artist commissions, and working with the museums throughout the world to create this exhibition. It's undefinable. How undefinable? <laughs> Um, I don't know because it's, it's, you can't answer it that easily. It can come in any form and it's not easily attained. And it's very mysterious. It's an exhibition that examines uh, the way artists have represented love and how they represent it now uh, from the last century to today and also the way they represent what they think love is because love is a notion that has evolved with time and uh, with co different civilizations and cultures. Um, it's an exhibition that deals with visual arts when love is often uh, the center of popular culture production or television or cinema uh, it's also at the core of many works of uh, artists, but paradoxically very few exhibitions have studied these uh, uh, productions, maybe because there is a reluctance towards uh, feelings into art. And um, from now on, uh, there is a, a new perspective, I think, towards feeling because there is a deep transformation of intimacy in our uh, contemporary times with new uh, medias like internet or uh, sites. I don't really know for sure, but this is my son, and I know I love him, but it's hard to put in the words, isn't it? I know I loved his mother, um, and I love my girlfriend. <laughs> so, what do, you, what do you think love is, kid? I don't know. Yeah? Um, tolerating you? You tolerating to me? Toler tolerating those around you. Um, I suppose you have unconditional love for family, and then uh, other love for, like, girlfriends or... Um, boyfriends or unconditional love, and if it's love from a parent, unconditional love. Now, there's a great thing, um, and I don't know the answer to that either. But I think, yeah, we're, we're, we're not, we can't choose our family, as one says. Um, uh, but I suppose as long as everything's good in the childhood and stuff, um, you'll always have an unconditional love for a father, which I feel you'll always have for my father. The show brings together about 60 artists from modern times to contemporary period. Uh, very well-known figures like Picasso, Giacometti or Max Ernst, who have not been very much exhibited in Ireland. The first time at AMA, actually. And uh, contemporary artists who are not even well-known at the international level. So, uh, for example, from the ex-Eastern Europe, it's a sort of uh, research. Um, there are three disciplines I've used to think this show. The first, of course, is, is art. The second is sociology, and we have invited Eva Iluz to collaborate to the study of uh, the evolution of uh, couples uh, nowadays. And Semir Zeki, who is a neuroscientist, who is helping us to understand love from the point of view of uh, uh, sciences and brain analysis. I still love you, Rose. But all the vows from here to doomsday couldn't make you a wife. I want a wife, Rose! Love is profound. Love is 
sensual, love is challenging, love frees me to be who I am as opposed to who I think I should be. Love is intimate, love is proximate, love is being held, love is being pushed to be all I can be. Love is elemental, love is beyond words, love is mercurial, love is mundane, love is organic, love is alive, love binds us, love separates us, love pulls us further into life, love wounds, love heals, love redeems. We have three chapters in the exhibition, like uh, in a book. The first is from the surrealism time in the last 20th century uh, to now, with uh, mainly uh, works around the concept of love as passion, or as amour fou, as we say in French. It's a concept developed by the poet André Breton, who was the leader of the surrealist group. And uh, it was a time of reinvention of love, um, outside of the sphere of the family between uh, two persons who are madly uh, in love. Uh, it has been also the case of contemporary artists like Rebecca Horn, for example, who has uh, explored the surrealist uh, heritage, or Henrik Olesen, who is reinterpreting uh, surrealist uh, works uh, with the spectrum of uh, the gay uh, uh, story. There is a second chapter that is devoted to works from the 60s to now, uh, with conceptual art and performance-based works. And surprisingly, uh, conceptual art has been also focused on love and especially marriage, which sounds a bit uh, paradoxical. And uh, there is a, a sort of uh, axe uh, that leads to a performance of uh, Anne Green and Drag Sect with a, a, a gay couple acting in a bed. The third chapter is about uh, the 80s until now, the period of the big transformation of intimacy and the, the attempt of the reinvention of new couples with a more egalitarian uh, relationship uh, with new balances in the family cycle and also the tension between the wish of uh, marriage and security and the freedom uh, of uh, free couples. Um, and then the show ends in, with a sort of spiritual uh, questioning about uh, love uh, understood as something more mystical even in a situation of a couple or linked to compassion uh, and empathy, uh, which actually is also known as being um, an activity that can be uh, controlled in the brain and even exercise, which open uh, great days for the development of love in the future. This exhibition features Irish commissions especially for the show. These works really look at the theme of love in very different ways. For example, Seamus Nolan is looking at the political aspect of love, how it undermines you and disrupts your very foundation. So we're using a music and a performance night in December. Lucy Andrews look at the intimacy of love, which gloves, skin on skin, and how um, love can just be a very defined, quiet moment. And finally, Garrett Phelan looks at kind of a archetype of what love is, of unrequited love, that if you come to the gallery, you can use for healing of lost love from time gone. I don't feel anything anymore. You go back to making your pies now, we'll we're through. So the exhibition really is a space for love, a pause, a breathing point, that you can come and have your unique experience and find out what love means to you. You said you love me. I said it at the time. Well, what is it, a viral love, kind of a 24-hour thing? Did you ever love me? No. Good. That will make this pleasanter.